Hey guys, I just thought I'd show you, I picked up today this Microsoft mouse and it's one of the, I think it's probably the original Microsoft mouse. It doesn't bear any other remarks other than the old Microsoft logo and it says serial mouse. So if this is not the original, very first Microsoft mouse, it certainly isn't far off it. It's a pretty cute little mouse, I like the buttons. Um, it's got a real res retro aesthetic to it. And, but always with these things, um, there's a lot of yellowing. I don't know if they can make that out on the camera, but there's a lot of yellowing here. And then there's just all these disgusting marks. So what I thought I'd do is like so many YouTube videos out there, I thought I'd just give it a clean up and show you how I clean things up. <laughs> So first things first, what I like to do to make it nice and clean is use a few things. So um, for this particular thing, because I'm probably not going to need to use any abrasives or anything like that, I'll try the basics first. So the first thing I'll use is some warm soapy water and I'm also going to use this toothbrush. Now probably, this I think it's like a soft one, it's probably better to use one that's a little bit harder than this, but that's all I have lying around. So that's what I'm going to use to begin with, some warm soapy water. So when I've been watching videos of people cleaning things, they always say use soapy water, and I'm like, what soapy water? What type of soap do they use? I don't know is the answer. So I, I just thought, hmm, it must be dishwashing liquid. And for this, I use Cousins Morning Fresh. One squirt is enough. Have you ever heard that being true, ladies and gentlemen? And then, if that doesn't work, then I'm gonna bring out the big guns and use something with a bit more abrasion, this, uh, this normal pad. And then, if that, hopefully that cleans everything off. And then what I can do at that point then is use these magic erasers which um, I've recently become friends with. I think these things are, are great. It's got a little um, chemical in it. I'm not quite sure what the chemical is. I'll have to look it up, but it's, it's not really a strong chemical or anything like that, but it transforms when you put some water in it. So um, we'll do that at the end. And if that still doesn't get it, then we can use some ethanol alcohol at the end. But let's get started and let's see how good this comes up. So just to just have a look there. We'll do a before and an after. So first things first, let's take some photos. All right, let's get this toothbrush to it. I'm pushing it by the head. If you're not, if, if you want to, you can just try doing it like you're brushing your teeth first. Um, but if you need to get something really dirty, you just hold it by the, the head there. And if it's daylight where you are and it's a nice sunny day and it's definitely not gonna rain, there's nothing harming you taking it out in the sun as well for a few hours, because that'll sort of bleach it after you're done. So let's just take that away and look already. Look at the top there and compare it with the side. It's a huge difference. And when you're cleaning these off, it's best to use like a microfiber cloth. Reminds me kids, brush your teeth. Just a little toothbrush can clean up a mouse like this. Just think what it can do for your teeth. This is probably 35 years of grime. All right, so I think what I'll do as well is I'll just open this little guy up. But, oh yeah, just before I do that, um, look at how well this has come out already. So this is yellowing with age. This isn't really dark. This is just, you know, obviously where it's been bleached by the daylight, the sun and so forth. So it's come out a lot, a lot nicer already just by giving it a good old brush down. What I'm going to do now is open it up, look at the individual components, and then I'm going to use my most favoured magic eraser. And there we 
go, there's the mouse. So what I'll do is I'll leave this part for now because it's actually pretty clean and tidy, which is strange for inside a mouse of this age. You can see usually these rollers have got all sorts of gunk and goo on them, but they're actually pretty much clean, I would say. And, and inside, all the circuitry looks pretty clean as well. Nothing, nothing really <clears throat> in a bad way there. So I'm just going to leave this part of the mouse so I don't get anything else wet on there. And I can come back to it if I, if I want to later on. But So the rest of this I'm going to concentrate on is this. Now I'm going to use the magic eraser then. So I got these. These are like three bucks and there's for the whole pack of eight little mini blocks. You can get big blocks of it. Um, but for small work like this, I guess the mini blocks are pretty helpful. So I'm just going to first of all use um, one of these just to just a, a bit more grunt on it just to see if I can get out these with the um, with the soapy water and then if I can't get that then I'm going to go into the magic eraser I'm going to do that anyway and if I still can't get it then I'll go into the ethanol alcohol so let's just get this a little bit wet here now you don't want to push too hard with this because this um, will obviously change the surface if you keep on rubbing hard you don't want to kill that kind of rough edge What do we reckon? Do you think that's coming up any better? I think that is, than here. <laughs> One squirt is enough, come on! Anyway... I <laughs> One squirt is enough! <laughs> Who says that, really? That's, they thought long and hard in the marketing department about what brand label they could come up with and they came up with one squirt is enough as their tagline. Come on! Anyway, I digress. Right, I think I've been abrasive with this for a while. In fact, little blue bits are coming off now. Oh no, I don't want to be too rough with it. I don't want to be too rough with you, mousey. Just a little, just a little timid little mouse. Oh, cool and sleek at timorous beastie. Oh boy, the panic in thy breastie. Right, okay. Give you a little rinse off. It's not really a rinse, but it'll do. Bathing the mouse. I have bathed the mouse. I'm having well and truly too much fun here, and I don't know why as well, like washing up is probably not my most favorite pastime. But, uh, you know, there you go. I don't know why I'm having so much fun. I've not been drinking, people, honestly. Uh, okay, right. So there we have it. I think that looks an awful lot better than where we started, but still not 100% perfect. It's not, it's not satisfying my needs. So I'm gonna use my magic eraser and uh, I'm just gonna dip that in. I really should probably be use, uh, using um, Normal, normal water for this, not soapy water, but I like to live life dangerously. On the edge, on the edge of a magic eraser. And these magic erasers are great for getting scuffs out as well, if you've got scuffs in anything. On the walls, in your house, crayon marks. Great for that sort of stuff. So you got kids rolling around all over the place, causing havoc on your walls. It's good for them. But if you're a geek, it's great for cleaning this sort of stuff. Okay, I've got some real unsoapy water. <laughs> I'll just finish this off. Okay, here goes. And unless I think you use, if you use something like Retro Bright on this, then I think you'll get it to go pretty much a new colour, which is, I think that's the original colour almost. But you can see that this yellowing I think is just age. I don't think it's actually going to come off unless you get something like Retro Bright. But what I'll do is I'll give it a bit of alcohol to finish off with. A drunken mouse and it ends up doing that to the end of them. So you know you're working. It's 
sort of see this yellow. I don't know if it's easy to see on the camera, but it's almost just a little bit yellow there. Okay, I've dried it off, and I would say it's looking a heck of a lot better already, but I'm gonna give it a dousing in alcohol, just because. Here's my friend. Let's get you, let's get you out the bottle there. Give it a good old sniff. Oof. Reminds me of my granddad's moonshine. Okay. Okay. Let's give it a whirl. Let's have a look. Before and after. Well, that's pretty much about it for this video. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have enjoyed, please consider subscribing or liking the video. And you can check me out on my Patreon website. That's patreon.com forward slash Al's Geek Lab. If you feel like it, you could make a donation and spurn me on to make more videos. Until next time, I thank you very much for watching. Take care and be excellent to each other. Ta-ra!